Here's what we're going to do. You good? Everybody good? Ready to go? <laughs> yeah, okay, that's good. Good, good. Thumbs up, right? Uh, yeah, yeah. So uh, we're ready to go. So come on out. Um, you can leave your, you don't need a racket for these first, first few. This is going to take two minutes. Two minutes and we're just going to get you loosened up and we'll have a little fun here. So here we go. Come on out. Got to get away from the chairs. So here's what you're going to do. Um, I've got my four rules. I've got a couple other things, but uh, uh, I, again, we're talking about intensity. We're talking about accuracy. We're talking. Does anybody ever know? Have anybody heard of the law of reciprocity? Yes. What does that mean? What's that? Law of reciprocity. You get what you give. You get what you give. And it's really important with kids because if you demonstrate something and you're kind of sloppy and you don't have any enthusiasm, you get what? Sloppy and lack of enthusiasm. So we are going to, I'm going to, I'm going to do some rhythm things. And, and I'm going to do a series of things with my hands and my feet. I'm going to slap and you're going to listen to what I'm doing and then you're going to repeat it. So if I go clap, clap, stomp, stomp, clap, clap, stomp, stomp. And we'll mix it up. And we might even have one of you, Carl. You might be the leader. <laughs> All right, so we'll just start that. So, so we'll start, see if, we can, see if we can do it. Alvin, make sure we get this, because this is, this is going to be pretty good. All right? All right? All right? So this is what it's going to look like. Is it? Okay, here we go. Good, 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 good. Um, uh, ch -ch -ch -ch. You know, partner, Chris, you're my partner this sure. month. Right? So we're gonna, we're gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna give you a lot of stories. We're, we're gonna use a lot of you as, as, your, as our demonstrators. I'll give you some stories about demonstrators. How do you pick which kid to demonstrate with? Same height. <laughs> <laughs> you never know. All right? Some kids love to be out there. You get some kid that wants the attention, you put them out there. And then some kids just, well, they, they, if you have them demonstrate, they'll freeze up. Right? So you've got you've to be careful of that. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to do, it's, we're going to do, it's a hop, hop, and then we're going to clap. Right. So what, what's a hop? What's the difference between a hop and a jump? Hop is one foot, t jump is two. All right? So we're going to, it's going to be, it, it'll look like this. And so you're going to get a partner in just a second, but it'll look just like this. Ready? It's hop, hop. All right. Hop. Hop, hop, hop. <laughs> right? But here's what you need to do. You need to find a partner, somebody you don't know. Somebody you don't know. Introduce yourself quickly to your partner and then get in your series of hop, hop, clap, hop, hop, clap with your partner. Go. Go. Good, 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 good. All right, but we're going to do some other things with partners too. So that's, that's kind of our rhythm. You can do all kinds of things with rhythm, but then I always like to get somebody to say, okay, give me, your, give me your rhythm thing, right? And kids are going to come up with some pretty crazy things. They will, right? And they'll be doing this stuff. And, you know. <laughs> yeah, so, so it's fun, but have a little fun with it. And how, how important, how many have ever done anything with rhythm with tennis? But is tennis a rhythmic sport? Yeah, yeah. And, and you know, somebody, you know, Monty, I just didn't play. I just couldn't get my rhythm today. All right, so we need, to, we need to do things with rhythm. All right, next thing. Next thing is, is we're going to talk about agility, all right? And agility is what? what is a, what's my definition of, what's your definition of agility? Your 
layperson definition for agility? Ability to move quickly and smoothly in whatever pattern you want. Yeah, yeah. It's, so it's, 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 it's moving quickly side to side, different directions. All right, so we're going to do a whole bunch of things with agility. And, and I'm going to go through my notes. Uh, and, and we're just going to start this. So the first thing I want you to do is I want you to find a line, individual. So you need to find a line. We've got red lines. We've got red lines. We've got blue lines. We've got white lines. And you're just going to do a whole bunch of these things. And I'm going to get some. So all I want you to do, the first thing I want you to do is I want you to stand to the side. And I just want you to jump side to side over a line. Boom, boom, boom. All right, same line. This time, toes in front. You're going to jump over and back. Over and back. Good, 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 good. Everybody's going to take a throw down line. Everybody gets one. Yeah, we'll spread these around. Yeah, everybody gets one. Everybody gets one. Yeah, throw down lines. Yes, they're still wet. Let's get an extra. I need, I need. All right, that's that's your that's your throwdown line for today. Oh, look at ooh 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 ooh. ooh, ooh. How did how did I guess that? So so what was easier, side to side or front and back? Side to side. Side to side. Why? Your balance is better because when you go front and back, you that this this can throw you off. How do you do that with little kids? I wouldn't do front and back with little kids. Why? Because their heads are huge, right? Their heads are huge and their balance is very easy for them to fall over backwards. So I don't like young kids to run backwards. I don't like them to jump backwards over a line. <laughs> Ever seen a little kid do a sit up? They can't do it. They can't do it. They, they do what? They land on the ground and you say, okay, this is what I want you to do. You do a sit up and they go, and their legs go up, right? Because their head is too heavy. Their head is like full size and they can't do a sit up. So next one. Here we go. Here's what we're going to do. You put the, put the uh, line down beside the other line, and you're going to jump over with two feet. So, uh, so give yourself a little space there. You can see I've got about six inches. Now we're going to go side to side, but you're going to cover more territory than just when you're going over a two-inch line. Go. Side to side. Good. All right. Front row gets these. We got, we've got cones. Same thing. Now we've got the cone, and you're going to be going over a cone, side to side over a cone. So those of you with a cone, side to side over a cone. Go. Okay, good, good, good. Um, the next one on your list is skip. We're going to skip the, we're going to skip the skip because I'm going to give you that when we talk about running and we're going to talk about skipping and I've got a whole series of things we're going to do with skipping. They're kind of fun. Um, uh, box jumps. What is a box jump? Here's what's going to happen with the box jump. Uh, I need, and, and we'll just set up a, a, couple of, a couple of these, but I need four, throw it on lines, and you're going to create a box. So David, here we go, box jump. And you start in the center, and you jump forward, right, back, left, forward. How many combinations can you come up with? Hmm, I can do two feet all the way around. I can do one foot all the way around. I can do one foot the other way. And so you can do a lot of combinations with this. You know what? About this particular drill, if you were going to test kids of all the athletic skills, the kids that do best at this are going to be your best athletes on the tennis court. Pretty interesting. So they've got to just sit ups and push ups and jumping jacks and all these other things. This is the one, right? So you're going to be, you're going to be jumping in and out. So we, we can set up, um, if we have uh, four, um, we don't need to have everybody do this, but just set it up and you, and you can tell um, it's not easy. It's not easy when you're doing Accurately going from square to square. <laughs> Jason, we're going to let you do it, and then we're going to have you go on one foot. <sighs> OK, 
Okay, try that with one foot now. Try that going in and out of the cones with one foot. One foot. One, yeah. <laughs> Okay, so you've got the box jump. Uh, the next thing on your outline, next thing in your outline, it says a five dot. Five dot. So this is the same thing. It's, it's basically the same thing. I'm just using different tool, a different tool. So you're starting here and you're jumping in and out of the spot. All right, you can do two feet, you can do one foot. How tough is that one foot? That's hard. That's tough, right? Can kids do it? They love to try. They love to try, so it's a good, good thing for them to develop. So that's, that's agility. What else is it working on? I mean, there's a lot of crossover here, a lot of balance there, a lot of balance. Coordination, coordination right. We'll talk about coordination um, in, in just a second. Um, find out. Uh, line hops. Okay, here's what we're going to do. Got a term for you. All right, so I want to, what you're going to do, I've got some different distances here, and you're going to be jumping, and I want your toes to be as close as they can to this line, and that line, and that line. And so you're di jumping different distances. You know what they call that? Kinesthetic differentiation. Write that one down. That's pretty, kinesthetic differentiation. How important that is, is that in tennis? It's really important because the whole game, you can hit the ball as hard as you want, but it only counts if it goes 78 feet. And so whatever you do, you have to be able to control the ball within a 78 foot court. And so that's the different kin kin kinesthetic differentiation. We're gonna give you uh, uh, four or five different examples of kinesthetic differentiation. This is one where you're trying to jump because you're using different muscles and different sorts of power when, when you have these things. So I'm gonna set up, in, in fact, I'll set up, we'll do this one, and while you do that, I'm gonna set up something else over on this side of the court so we can all do that. So you can set up a couple of different ones. We've got some uh, lines and do about three, three lines, and then we'll do another one with the, uh, with the dots. I like that creative. One foot, try it on, try it on, try it on one foot, try a left foot, and try the right foot. Very good. Very good. Yeah. Now what let's let's stick in, let's stick in a balance. So you, we've got this, we got the uh, uh, the, the second one seemed to be the longest one. I want you to hold that position for two seconds. So you've got to stick it. Gymnastics term. Yeah, right, right. <laughs> Stick it. Oh, perfect. Look at that. No wobble at all. Good, 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 good. Now I'm going to get out of the way here. All right, here we go. Next one. Hit. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So you can start to see all the different combinations. We did forward. We, 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 we can do sideways. You can do one foot. You can do two foot, two feet. So, uh, but I like the different distances so that we can keep it creative. So we're going to work agility ladder, which is all the same distance. We're going to do a lot of different things, but this is kinesthetic differentiation. So we're going to talk, as I said, I've got that term that we're going to use, I think, in three other activities that we're going to do. 
with hitting, with rolling, with catching? Are, are there other things we can do with kinesthetic differentiation? Especially when you're teaching new players, it's very, very important that, that, we, that we teach that. So uh, there we go, box jumps, we five dot and line hops, land on balance, kinesthetic differentiation, boom, we're done with the first page, here we go. Only 216 to go. <laughs> Here's what I have. This is, this, I, I, I'm, 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 I've lost my, my place in my outline. This is our frog hop. What's, what's a, so I, this is what I want you to do. I've got two set up here, and we're going to hop like a frog. One foot, one foot, one foot, one foot, one foot. And I've got, you're doing your kinesthetic differentiation, but you have to hold your position rather than just hit and go. All right? So hold every lily pad, if you will, for a second. See how you're balancing. So we've got a group here. We've got a group here. Huh. That might be a little tough. There. So let's have a line, line right here. I love lines. <laughs> Eight lines. Line right here, line right here, and we'll just go through just so you get a little feel for the lily pad, the, the frog hop into the lily pad. Uh, no, that'll be right foot. Good, good question. Right foot, this is the left foot. Very nice. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right. Next one, next one. All right, go through your lily pad. If, you're, if you haven't had a chance, to make sure you do, do a, a lily pad here. So here's what we're going to do. Okay, I'm going to use my throwdown lines. This is, and, and in, your, in your notes, this is a V or a W. V and M. V and M sprints. So you're going to be starting here, and, and what are you going to do? You're going to be facing forward. You're going to go, and we can have a dot there, but you're going to go forward, back, forward, and back. So you're moving in this direction. And you're, and you're moving. And what will kids do? Probably the first time they do it. Right, they won't be able to stop. Mm -hmm. And is stopping an important skill? Yeah. Stop, stopping takes what? Strength. Strength. I, I always get a kick out of high performance coaches who are going, okay, get out there and load. Right? Right. You, get, you get little kids, they can't load because they don't have the strength. So you, we need to develop that strength. So, so we're, we're going to do the, the V and the M pattern. You can just set these up and you can do it in two ways. You can either shuffle here, shuffle here so you're parallel or you're, you're facing the line. And then you can do the same thing just by, by keeping your eyes up and, and moving forward. All right. The V and the M. So let's set up a couple of those courses so that you can do that and yeah. Right here? Yeah, we can do it right here. Let's do, we'll do it. We'll do an M here. We'll do the M. All right, so the first time, for the first time, you can go and you can, you can be parallel with the lines. So you're going to turn and you're going, to be doing, you're going to be doing your shuffle. And then the second time, your eyes are going to be up and forward. And I'm not concerned that they're on the line just so they get the, the, the pattern. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, good question. Good question. When we do the M, so we got this one, we've got a little back pedal here. What about the back pedal? If it's only a step or two, I want to make sure that I do some coaching. And what do we want? Where do we want the weight? 
Yeah, we want that head forward as they're, as they're doing that. We don't want them to be falling over backwards. I'm not looking for speed here. I'm looking for balance. I'm looking for good footwork. I'm looking for having them land lightly on their feet. Good question. Good question.